What I came up here today to do was to do the first cut on the grass that we planted two falls ago. And so last summer was the first summer that we had grass around the pole barn, tiny house. And I'm gonna give it its first cut here. I think I mentioned to you a minute ago that it got down really cold in the 20s last night. Tonight, I think it's gonna get down for about two hours to 32 degrees. I think we're gonna be okay cutting. I brought the bad boy zero turn uh, elite up here and uh, let's just get this thing going and we'll cut this this grass it's not tall yet but it's starting to develop a few little weeds here and there but we've got some grass and I'll be able to knock some of these leaves off so hopefully it'll start growing in here a little bit better but we're gonna get to cutting the lawn right here in front of the barn this thing's coming a long way. It's taking its time, it's going slow, but it's coming. And we're gonna get her done. There's a lot of projects on that you'll get to see. You know, if this kind of stuff, you know, creating a homestead, making land into a, a livable place that's self-sufficient, but like I've said before, when you got God in your life, there's nothing that's about self. It's all, it's all about God. Oh, which, by the way, there's a channel that I found recently that I'll tell you about. It's called IAG Farms, I believe. And IAG actually stands for It's All About God. And uh, they're a good channel. I recommend checking them out. Uh, IAG Farms. So good people, it seems like. I meant to tell you guys that, you know, I got this thing early in the summer last year or early spring. And... Uh, we cut this grass all summer with it, and we cut down there in the near the hill. We tried it as an option, found a better option for the hillside, and uh, we got some stuff that talks about that, some other videos. But um, just a, a week or so ago, I did change the oil in this. You'll see a video that we posted previously where I came in and did service to all of our equipment. Little Red, which is a 500 Ranger, uh, Polaris Ranger crew. Uh, I did a lot of uh, service on uh, Big Red, the, the Case I 875C. Uh, Blue, which is our 570 Sportsman Polaris, and our DR brush and field cutter, our Swisher pull behind cutter. A lot of different service on a lot of equipment. But I didn't show this one because I did this one at the house. I did all these down here at the lovely place. But yesterday I pulled out the compressor and I blew out the air filter in this and a few other machines as well that were at my house. Uh, the thing that I still lack doing on this, and I'm going to do it before I get started, is uh, lubing it. I know of a couple of lube spots on it, but uh, I don't have the manual with me to, to look for all of them. But I'll just lube it where I do know that there are some zerks on this thing. So let's do that first, and then we'll get to cutting. All right, so... The two zerks that I am aware of is on each side right here. One there, one over there, right here on this, the front frame here. This, I guess what they would consider a, some sort of a, well, that's the deck where it raises and lowers. And apparently that's a zerk too. Yeah. So we got zerks back here as well. So there's four, should be one on the other side that, I know right off the bat and I'll get my manual out at some point and see where the other ones are but I'm gonna go ahead and lube these real quick okay so we're using the battery operated Ryobi grease gun here let's pop this on now this is my old regular fitting that came with the grease gun so it's not the type that just clamps on so you got to hold this one. Let's see there. There's our new grease. You see that? So that's all she wrote there. All right, let's do the other side. Yep, here's some over here on this side right here that came out. So that's good. Let's go to the back. All right. 
Let's click it in right here. Oh yeah, lots of grease coming in over there. All right, we're on the other side. Let's knock this one out. There it is. I want to show you this. Let's get a little closer. Look at all that right there. Can you see all that grease that came up around here? Keeping these things lubed. It's a good thing. We need to wipe this down, so I'm going to clean it up real quick. We either got some hawks or some buzzards up there flying around. They're acting like hawks the way they're hunting. They've been over the field a whole lot. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, that's hawks. So cool. You guys comment below tell me if that's a hawk or not mrs lovely she's betting on it being a vulture you just can't help but to stop and and look at the beauty up here at the lovely place i mean that's what it's all about without doing that it wouldn't none of this would be worth it that's what makes this all worthwhile But yeah, here's my uh, here's my forklift. I told you I'd tell you about my pallet forks of me. This is a 48 inch, and it's uh, rated at 4,000 pounds. Here's the the rating 4K right here, and uh, I hope it'll do the trick. These slide side to side. It sure helped me pick up those picnic tables a lot easier. I think everybody needs a good set of pallet forks for the tractor because there's so much they'll do while i'm at it why don't i just go ahead and show you this post hole digger brand spanking new gearbox still has no oil in it and uh it's not been fully set up this is called a power line after i bought it i questioned is it is it as long as the average uh post hole digger and is it as strong i rarely have seen them with this square two inch looking steel that's more than two inches there and the width two inches in the height that's probably at least three right there but uh i believe it'll do the trick i believe it's probably standard it's got a nine inch auger on it came with it and uh i feel like i got a pretty good deal with this gotta remember no oil we're gonna fix that but yeah that's gonna allow me to Drill some holes, put up some additional pole barn sheds, equipment sheds, and then more importantly, build fence. Put in posts for fence. All right, without further ado, it's time for the bad boy. Start up close and I'm going to circle around. I want to just keep pushing everything off of 